So. He's big, some say he's bad, others brutal. If you're an East Fremantle supporter, after 10 straight wins, you'd probably call him a super shark. But he's a shark with a heart, and Tim Warner has been finding out what makes that heart tick. It's match day in the Alexander House. Activity is decidedly low key. Conversation, unmistakably football. But that's the way it is. Ron Alexander lives it. Marilyn Alexander married into it. The kids were brought up on it. Well, I like the involvement with people. There's a lot of people that you meet. Uh, you make very good friends through football. There's always something exciting happening. Um, you're always tense. Certainly not dull. Do you ever get bored with it? Do you ever get heartily sick of it? No, there's sometimes I hate it. Uh, there's, most times I love it. But uh, there's always a reason to hate something that's happening. But uh, on most occasions, uh, there's something different. Ron spends a great deal of his time teaching or coaching. All in all, it's a hectic no life. I spend a lot of time at home. I'm certainly here Tuesdays and, and Thursdays during the week. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'm generally home by at least 8 o'clock. Uh, Saturday, Saturday morning, Sundays. I'd like to see a little bit more of him, but then you can't have it always. You know, he's a football coach and he's got to be down at the football club. Is he as good a family man as he is a footballer? Yes, definitely. Big Ron's a staunch anti-smoker, and if you see him with a drink in his hand, it's more likely to be a Coke than a beer. I think when I started getting serious about football, uh, I, I gave the drink away. I have a drink now and again, I have a beer now and again. I'm not, uh, I'm not any saint or anything like that. <laughs> By the end of today's game, there'll probably be a few footballers who can vouch for that. Today is Derby Day, but for Ron Alexander, it's another vital four points up for grabs. After all these years, do you still get nervous? I get yes, very nervous, just as nervous as, uh, as my first game. I, uh, I get tense. Uh, I'm a bit of a worrier. Uh, I worry a lot and try and plan for the unexpected. Bye, Dad. Bye. He's a little bit more vague because he's concentrating on the game. Um, we always sort of get him breaking in bed and sit around the bed and have a chat. But he's, he's much more vague. Bye. Bye. Yes, you know, and, and all of a sudden, sometimes I'll be lying beside and I'll feel his heart sort of starting to pump and he's thinking about the football game. Um, and that happens quite a lot. Alexander is thoughtful, on edge. He watches the first half of the reserves match before descending to the dungeon-like dressing rooms. It's here that Ron Alexander often seems to be in a trance, inwardly psyching himself. They're going to be very tight on him. First aim is to uh, to win the football, and uh, certainly if uh, the occasion's there to uh, to play physically hard, I, I enjoy that. That's that's part of my game. That's part of my nature. When I hit the football field, I certainly do get fired up. I enjoy it. Uh, the adrenaline certainly pumps. Some people call it white line fever. I guess uh, I'm one of those. Do you see yourself as having two faces, one for the footy field, and one for home? I don't know, I've never thought of it in that uh, concept, but certainly I don't act uh, at home the way I act on a football field. I think Marilyn would be glad of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I guess you would. But, uh, now, on the, on the football field, it's an entirely different thing. Your, your emotions are running very, very high. And, uh, you're certainly the people that uh, you're playing with, the people on your side, you don't like to see them knocked around, uh, certainly unfairly. And, uh, you know, that can be very upsetting at times. You probably had a lot of tags put on you. One of them would be a gentle giant. Is that what Ron Alexander is? Well, there's a lot of cliches in uh, in football, and gentle giant is, uh, you know, sort of conjures up a 
picture of a, to me, a, a big uh, fellow who's not all that bright and uh, walks around picking up flowers. Well, in that case, that doesn't apply to me. I think uh, you have to be, uh, have a way to act for different situations. And uh, on the football field, I'm not sure that I'm all that gentle. I hope I'm not all that gentle because it's not my intention to be gentle on the football field. When I'm at home, when I'm at school, uh, it certainly is my intention to be uh, reasonably quiet, not all that outgoing. For Alexander, another game. For East Fremantle, another four points. And tomorrow will be the start of another game. And football will still be filling his mind. And that won't worry him in the slightest. I do find it difficult to get football off my mind. I'm not so sure that I want to. Uh, because it's, uh, it's a part of my life and, uh, as I said, a part that uh, I'm very comfortable and happy with. Well, can he keep up that winning streak? That's the question. Back soon with...